Close your eyes, focus on the breath. Feel it all the way in, all the way out. Get your mind to stay right here. Think about this one thing, the breath coming in, coming out. Be aware of this one thing. As for other things you're aware of, you just put them in the background. Bring this up to the foreground. You're trying to develop a good state of mind here, one that's concentrated, one that's focused. Give full attention to the present moment. Today we've come together to make merit for Rama the Ninth, the last king of the late king of Thailand. And so if we're making merit, you want to make sure that the merit is good. When you're making merit with meditation, put your mind in a really good sh shape so that it's like a gift that you would be proud to give. He was an excellent king. It's hard for us in the rest of the world to think of what it would be like to have a really good leader of a country, someone who had so much love for his country and did so much for them. There was a talk he gave one time at the 200th anniversary of Bangkok, which he talked about the virtues that should be developed in the country. And there were virtues that he embodied, and they're good to think about as ways of carrying on the goodness that he did. It's a set of dhammas called dhamma for, for lay people. It starts out with truthfulness. You speak the truth and you act truthfully. Truly, in other words, you say you're going to do something, you actually do it. You hold to your word. Of course, if it's something you promise to do that's not good, you don't have to hold to that. But to be true to the goodness that you've decided to do. Next quality is self-control. You keep your emotions under control. You don't let your anger, you don't let your greed, you don't let your desires overcome you and get into your actions. Even though those defilements may be there in the mind, you don't let them come out in your thoughts, your words, your deeds. And try to get some control over your thoughts so that they don't keep pulling you in that direction. In other words, you show some restraint in what you do, what you say, what you think. The third quality is stamina. There's going to be a lot of difficulties as we go through life. Life is a struggle. And if you want to develop something good, you have to have stamina. You have to be able to put up with hardship. You have to be able to endure harsh words, pain, difficulties. If you're going to build something good out of your life, these are the things you have to deal with. You have to be able to stand up to them. And the fourth quality is generosity, giving of yourself, realizing you've come to this life and you're going to find happiness. You have to give first before you'll be able to gain the happiness you want. Whatever happiness does come on its own is the result of the good actions you've done in the past. And you don't want to just use up your fund of past good actions. You want to be able to continue to contribute to that fund. And the way of doing that is being generous with your, not only material goods, but also with your time, with your knowledge, with your energy, generous with your forgiveness. It's when we develop these four qualities, truthfulness, self-control, generosity, and stamina, that we can live with one another and that we can build things together. Instead of tearing things down, tearing them apart, as so happens, often happens around the world. Human beings get together, they build something good, and then they tear it down. If we could continue just building good things, good things, good things, the human race would have much more developed than it is now. And so we look to the past for the examples of good people who did build good things, as Rama the Ninth was an excellent example. And think about how we can continue that goodness in the world. Because whatever other people may do, you have to realize that you want to make sure that you leave this life with something good. In his case, he's left so much goodness in the world that people, all the Thai people all over the world are commemorating this day. In sincerity, it's not just going through the motions. Because they respect someone, where they respect someone who put up with a lot of hardship to, to give, give, give to their country. So you have to think about how we can continue his legacy. And it's not just by making merit and dedicating it to him. You have to do good in your life. And he set, the, he set forth a good example, and he laid it out in his talks. The good qualities he tried to develop, and then he wanted to see others develop. And we could continue his, his legacy in this way. And that way the goodness he's done does not disappear from the world. Now we benefit from that goodness ourselves.